Hey guys, Nick Ogilvy here with Lux Blades. Super excited today. Um, we got some uh, updates on the uh, Viber fill and everything like that. So uh, we will uh, see you soon. Stay tuned because this is going to be awesome. <laughs> Hey guys, okay, so I'm gonna bring on here uh, Chase Dowling. Hey Chase, how's, how's it going? going? It's going good, man. Glad, good. glad to be here. Yeah, well, hey, so uh, you know we've been working on this Viber fill, and if anybody watched our last our last episode, it was really pumped. We're you know just getting it every everything over to the uh, the lab. Yep. And you know, and it's one of those things that um, you know. Why don't you tell them, kind of uh, go back over again, what this what this does and all of that? Yeah, yeah. So I'll kind of give you a little bit of backstory on on how we kind of got into this. So, you know, we started Viber Shield uh, as a means of reducing odor in artificial turf grass, and that kind of led us down this journey of how do we provide safer turf for not only backyard people's backyards or dog parks, but for the artificial uh, turf fields that are in in sports and so uh, through independent lab studies we found that there are some negative side effects or negative effects that come with having um, artificial turf as a sports field as opposed to regular grass one of those being the health related effects of some of the materials that are utilized in artificial turf we know just between our conversations and also us being previously in the artificial turf industry that artificial turf is a phenomenal product and yep. I don't think it should be used in a lot of athletic facilities across the nation, but we have to make sure that it's safe, uh, not only from a health perspective for the athletes, as far as concussions and things like that go, uh, but also from a health perspective from what they're inhaling, the, the chemicals and the VOCs and things like that, that they may come in contact when playing on those sports fields. So we've taken Viber Shield, which was traditionally for the artificial turf itself, Viber Shield Total Turf. And we are now coating that or going to be coating that onto the crumb rubber. And that is ultimately where we landed on Viber Fill. Yeah. So, I mean, that's exciting. So, you know, <laughs> We were talking with uh, the guy, the owner of the lab. Was it yesterday or the day before? Yeah, it was yesterday. Yesterday, yeah. And you know, he was telling us all the all the things that were in the rubber that we had no idea. Right. And uh, one of them being like heptane and stuff like that. Yep. And you know, it, it shocked me because we knew that it worked on the turf. Right. And you know, y'all had you know whenever the pet urine and stuff like that, it eliminated those smells. Correct. Which was incredible. And I guess what got me and what actually got got uh, Greg um, was the in 24 hours, it reduced the harmful VOCs out of the rubber infill by more than 35 percent. Yeah. And that that to me blew me away. Right. And it's yeah. just I mean, it, it, it's 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 wild. And I think that something that you know you and i've talked about is now when people replace these fields we can go in there and y'all can spray the viber shield yep onto the old infill and it, it helps that as well so now their new field is coated with it and you know i mean something like uh you know you're gonna provide them you know, stuff for them, like at the manufacturers, at the plants, the rubber manufacturers. Yeah. So now they can spray on this on fields all over the United States. Right. Worldwide, re really, right? I mean. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we, I think the way you got to look at it is that we're almost breathing a new life into the crumb rubber as it's being recycled out of the field. Um, you know, the, the crumb rubber in itself is very resilient and it can be used over and over again. Whereas the turf grass over time is going to break down 
right? Uh, people running on it and sliding on it and things like that. And so the ability for us to go in there and recycle that crumb rubber, coat it while it's being pulled out of the field to then be utilized again in the field as a safer um, a product that's going to go down is, is phenomenal. I mean, what people have to understand is that most crumb rubber that's going to be in sports fields is through recycled tires, right? And so the process of recycling that tires, they do clean and, and do their best to provide a safe product to the uh, artificial sports fields. But ultimately, just given the chemical makeup through independent lab studies that we now understand, there are things in it that could potentially release harmful VOCs or that we know now are releasing harmful VOCs. And like you mentioned, heptane being one of those, you know, heptane, historically speaking, is is a flammable uh, chemical. <laughs> so there's concerns not only from that perspective, but also the emission of the off gassing of the VOCs into the air. And you think about it like this, when you have a football player, I mean, they are right there on the turf grass surface, their face is getting pounded into it. Yep. Um, and, and so it could potentially cause some adverse health effects to the lungs from years and years of bringing that those guys that play all the way from, you know, little league all the way up to the NFL are consistently being exposed to this. And so if we can find a way to, to reduce that drastically to a more manageable, healthy level, then I think we've solved the problem and, and at least put our mark on providing a healthier sports environment for these athletes. Yeah. A hundred percent. You know, it's, it's funny because the, the rubber, honestly, it's a good solution because for the, for the G max rating, right. It was a bad solution for the VOCs. And now, you know, I think that Viber fill and Viber shield is the best component a rubber manufacturer could do is spray right. it. You know, and um, and it's it's gonna be seamless to spray. Can you grab one of those jugs behind you? Yeah, yeah. So this is our this is our um, marine and automotive uh, product here. But Vibrafil, Vibrafil, and Vibrashield come in a container just like this. Yeah, and then you can imagine that in this jug, it's a gallon. And this entire jug here is going to cover 8,000 square feet of artificial turf, um, as well as the crumb rubber. And so a little bit goes a long way with reducing these VOCs. Yeah. And, you know, the it's 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 totally a game changer. Like, yeah. I'm super I'm super excited because yeah. now, you know, the industry as a whole is going to be made better. Yeah, because we figured out how to make crumb rubber safe again. Yeah. Yeah. Right? So that way, that way kids out there playing on the playground are safe. Athletes are safe. Right. Not to mention if you have an indoor facility, it's going to start smelling better. It's not yeah. going to smell like an old gym sock. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's the thing, right? I mean, yeah. and, and, and the VOCs, that's, that's important. But one thing that you can relate to being in Houston is that dang summer heat yeah and now when you spray viber shield on this rubber it reduces the heat by 20 percent. correct yeah now that's that's huge right yeah i mean you, you think about it like this i mean in high school sports right football you know that begins in in july august and and down here in houston the ambient temperature could be sustained above 100 degrees for you know the entire summer three four months out of the year and so you imagine if it's 100 degrees ambient temperature that turf and that crumb rubber is going to be north of 140 degrees and we know that anything roughly above 130 can actually burn the skin and so if we can rip the temperature out of uh, the crumb rubber or the turf grass and and um, combine together and just provide them with a with a safer turf that's maybe 110, 115 degrees as opposed to 140, 150, 160, yep. then we're going to prevent those burns and provide a much uh, enjoyable experience for those athletes on the field. It's already hot, hot enough and hard enough for them to be out there playing in that just from breathing that hot air. They don't need to be burning their hands and their skin uh, at the same time. Yep, hundred percent. That's you know that's that's the thing is the heat reduction and the VOCs. I mean that's just it, right. it's huge. Yeah. And so you know I almost so 
Chase, how do they get a hold of you if they need to get a hold of you for, you know, then I'll give them my information too, but I'm going to go ahead and give you, you get, give them your information first. Sure. Yeah. So they can get a hold of us via our website, which is vibershieldusa.com. Um, they can email us directly or email me directly at chase at vibershieldusa.com. And they can also call us at our office number, which is 713-389-9408. And uh, we're happy to discuss it um, all day long and twice on Sunday. I think as long as we can make advancements in the artificial turf industry, we're going to to make it better for everybody, not only the installers, but the people who utilize turf. And I think, like you said earlier, it's not just a concern as it relates to the turf grass, right? But we can have applications go down for playgrounds or anywhere that there's synthetic surfaces. You know, people think all the time about processed foods, right? Mm -hmm. And the, the chemicals that go into processed foods, we need to think about the chemicals that are being used to process synthetic fibers or synthetic surfaces and what the the adverse health effects are um, by utilizing those services, not saying they're bad, they're great services and they've been engineered for very specific purposes, but if we can make it that much better and safer for everybody, I think it's a phenomenal opportunity. Yeah, a hundred percent, you know, and that kind of goes back to our, our uh, you know, people can go to uh, at turfed out 4324 to see our first, our first interview, right? When we're talking about how it works and stuff, but, it goes back to how now this isn't like a live enzyme where right. you put it on and hopefully it doesn't rain for days. So it doesn't wash it away. Right. I mean, that's, that's basically it. Right. And yeah. you got to shake the container and then spray it on, wet it first, the whole nine yards. Right. Whereas literally guys, we just spray it, set it and forget it. Yeah. Because tell them how, like kind of explain, you're the more right. scientist on how it works. Yeah. So, so the science behind it, right, is that our molecules are coming out at a very fine atomized mist. Our molecules bond to the carbon that's in the surface, whether it's the turf grass, it's the backing, or it's the, the actual tinsel that's used for the blades or the crumb rubber itself. We bond to that surface and we become a part of the actual substrate. So we call it a coating, but we're not necessarily a true coating because we're going to become a part of the molecular makeup of the actual product itself. Once it's bonded, those molecules will vibrate. That vibration pulls in unwanted odors. It pulls in VOCs. It pulls in contaminants and things like that. And it's going to scrub it and basically destroy it. In the process of scrubbing it, it's removing the oxygen molecule and releasing it back into the air. So when those molecules flip polarity, it's releasing that oxygen molecule back into the air and the rest of the contaminants are destroyed. So it's really a phenomenal... Uh, a thing. And because we're actually bonding to the surface, the only way to remove us is through friction and abrasion. You would essentially have to destroy the actual substrate. And, and by <laughs> that, I mean, break down the actual tinsel of the turf grass or destroy the actual crumb rubber pellets themselves. So in most scenarios, we have a useful life of anywhere around three years. Um, in, in three to five years, depending on the, on the friction and abrasion. And we're actually developing right now and working with our manufacturer to develop a product that's going to be you know, between seven to nine years. And so that'll be coming out in 2024. But what we've got right now is a, is a very long-term solution to a problem that is essentially very serious and should be taken very serious. A lot of these sports organizations over the last 10, 15 years have been finding advancements on how to protect their athletes from injuries and concussions and things like that. But I think we need to also look at how do we protect them from a health internal health perspective and make sure that we're protecting their lungs and everything else that goes along with that. So they can live out the rest of their lives long after the sports have come to an end. Yeah, a hundred percent. And that, you know, and that's, I was real big on the, uh, oh, coconut stuff and all that whenever it first came out, because yeah. I thought, you know, that's, that's a great solution versus the rubber. Sure. But the thing is, after seeing it with my own eyes, you know, people tell you it won't float away. It won't do this, that I've seen it with my own eyes. It yeah. floats into clumps. Right. The wind can take it away because it's lighter than the rubber. Yeah. So really rubber <clears throat> That's a really good solution. Yeah, it's, it's so, the best. Yeah, and so it's like, how do we take the rubber and make it better for everybody? Yeah. 
so now we've done that and i'm yeah. excited um guys get it you can get a hold of me nick at luxblades.com um or obviously if you're watching this you're uh you're gonna get a hold of me one way or another um <laughs> but but um you know i'm just i'm super excited chase super excited of what we're gonna do here this next year yeah and me too. uh yeah so anyways guys thanks for uh watching us uh chase you got anything else before we leave um, I mean, I just appreciate the opportunity. We've partnered with Nick on this deal to to bring this out to the market, and we couldn't have found a better individual to to uh, champion the product and and really be a supporter of ours. And I think as time goes on, we'll get people to truly understand what our mission is, which ultimately is just providing a safer environment for for all those who walk this earth, whether it's through our Vibrafill product, our Total Turf product, or any of the other products that we have uh, in our possession. And so um, we're really looking forward to, you know, leading the charge and the advancements in the industry and, and seeing where this thing goes over the next few years. And hopefully we can really uh, provide a sustainable solution, environmental safety solution to um, everybody across the nation. hundred percent. All right, guys. So y'all know how to get a hold of Chase now, look him up, uh, follow him on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, wherever you can find Chase and uh, Vibra Shield. <laughs> And I'll yep. uh, talk to you guys soon. Yeah, everybody have a great weekend. Thank you so much.